What is up guys, this is going to be a quick little video, the other day I went to a car boot sale, which is basically a flea market, we call it car boot sale in the UK, and I haven't been in a while, and I kind of went crazy on buying a load of stuff, this is what I got, I just want to show you guys a few of the games that I got, really good deals, I spent all this, I spent like, 29 pounds which is probably equivalent to 25 dollars or less so really chuffed about um, getting all this it was a shame there wasn't as many older games that I could find at the uh, car boot sale I'm just gonna go through what I got and kind of tell you how much I got it for so I got Star Wars 2 Battlefront and I'm not sure if I actually got this already. I definitely used to have this. This was like a pound. I think that was worth it. Time Crisis 2. Another game that I used to have and God knows what happened to it. But this was a, a quid. A Star Wars, a Lego Star Wars, the Xbox. I think this is £1.50. And uh, pretty much all of these are in pretty good condition, surprisingly. I don't think I've played this one, so I'd like to try this out. I, need to, I do need to get original Xbox again. The Warriors, this was one pound, I think. One or two pounds. It's a fun game, especially co-op. Um, yeah, I never used to have this, but I completed it at my cousin's place. A long time ago, um, animated cartoon Titan AE, recommended by the friend that I went to the car boot sale. I haven't watched it, so I decided to get it because it's only a pound. Ridge Race 7, that was two pounds. It didn't come with the manual, I was a bit tired about that, but I always wanted the uh, Ridge Race 7 because I do like my Ridge Racer games, and I would like to have all of them at some point. The Rally 3, that was 20p, never played it, don't remember it, got it because it was 20p and in good condition. This was awesome, these two, these two, same seller, £2 each. This one's already sealed, Dead Space, and a game that I always wanted to get um, when it first came out. Bioshock is another one, uh, played a bit of it, never used to own it. So. Now I'm an owner of Bioshock, the original. Two pound each. You can't go wrong with that. Uh, two DS games for my girlfriend. Two pound each. Um, track and Field. Haven't seen this one before. And a Mystery Stories game. Track and Field game by Konami. That'll be fun, I think. Um, moving on. We have the Lost Chronicles book, this was a pound, and I am a big fan of Lost, and I do like, or I did like the uh, whole series, obviously my favourite seasons were like the first two or three seasons, then it got a bit confusing, but um, I do like the whole series as a whole, <coughs> and um, yeah, this is, I saw this book and I was flicking through, and it makes me want to watch the whole series again because I haven't seen it for a long time now. And um, this was a pound. And it's in good condition. This just covers like the first, the first like couple episodes, I think. And it comes with like the pilot episode DVD on the back. Channel 4 made this. So yeah, I'm glad to have like a lost book. Kind of has all the behind the scenes and characters and whatnot, locations, interesting book. Because of that, I had to get lost the complete second series. I've got the first one. I'm, yeah, I've only got the first one, so I decided to get two, and this was two pound. So I think it was worth it because the whole like complete box set. I think they still sell them at H and V in there. I remember seeing it for like. 50 pounds or something ridiculous so yeah I'm glad to have this kind of 
want to get the other series now because uh, I used to download them. I think I've still got most of them downloaded, but I do want to get the uh, box sets of them all. Okay, next up we have Halo The Fall of Reach, and this was 20p. This is a book quite old. I think this came out when the first Xbox, the first Halo came out for the Xbox. But 20p though, I remember seeing this in a charity shop and it was a lot more. I can't remember that much. So I couldn't. So they only had one of these, so I couldn't. Uh, let this go for 20p to be honest. It'd be a good read. Um, what else have we got? We got like um, Mario. I think this is artwork from Paper Mario. It's like foam Mario you stick on the wall. Um, there's supposed to be a Luigi set with it as well and the stickers, but. Um, didn't see that there, but I did see a complete set after I bought these two, which I was a bit disappointed because I paid like a pound and it was a pound for the full set in its wrapper with the stickers at the back. Um, but yeah, well, got these. Can't really complain for a quid. Uh, I also got these games here. And all of these, originally, well, there was double the amount but me and my friend we went halves on these games the guy was selling them for £10 for a stack of Xbox it's a mixture of Xbox and Xbox 360 games um, so I went halves with him so I paid £5 for this lot here and I think it's a pretty good deal I mean Indiana Jones and the, temp and the Emperor's Tomb I haven't played it but I think it's a game that I wanted to get a long time ago. Saints Row, but actually Saints Row is not in here. When we opened it, it was um, it had like a Dead Rising CD and Assassin's, uh, Assassin's Creed. And I now own Assassin's Creed again because I used to have it, and I think I sold it a long time ago. Cell Shock and um, 67 for the Xbox. Never played it. Looks like a typical army game. Halo 2 and 3, I already got those, so probably sell them on. Brother, Brothers in Arms, Road to Hill, I'm not sure if I already have this, I know I've got a Brothers in Arms game. Uh, yeah, it's a split screen, I didn't know it was a split screen. I think they were alright sort of co-op games. Uh, Full Spectrum Warrior, I used to have this a long time ago. and it a lot because it reminded me of Conflict Desert Storm up there. Um, this was an interesting game. I remember them them saying it was uh, the US Army used it as a train and aid. So it's just one of those tactical um, turn based war games. Conflict Desert Storm 2, I think I got this for the PS2, but the Xbox One is a better version. Because um, I remember used to play in this and uh, play my own music on the hard drive while playing this with my friends. Great fun, full player. True Grind Streets of LA. Don't know if I got this already, but this was a good game. Um, what does it remind me of? GTA ish, I guess. Yeah, actually. Yeah, it reminds me more of Sleeping Dogs now. Long time since I played this. I did like the New York one as well. Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell, and I think I got this uh, free from like a newspaper ages ago. And so, got the original. FIFA Street, they're fun games. The FIFA Street ones. Uh, CSI Crime Scene Investigation, never played it. But looks like your typical uh, crime solving adventure game. Looks alright. Dark Void, never played it, it's a Capcom game now. Looks kind of fun with mechs and stuff. Uh, Reflex MX versus ATV. 
F1 2002. Not too bothered about that. Pro Evolution. Actually, I used to like my uh, Formula One games back in the PlayStation days. Uh, might try that out. Pro Evo Soccer 4. Not too bothered about that. FIFA Football 2003. So, yeah, those are the games for £5. All of those. And what else have we got? The Smurf, the McDonald's Smurf toy, and also got a uh, Scooby Doo mystery machine, which I gave my girlfriend, and I don't know what that is to show you guys. And super glue. That is my uh, car boot sale haul. A lot of stuff. And I'm hoping to go there again at some point. And I hope to see more retro stuff, like older stuff than this. But uh, yeah, it's just a quick uh, update. I probably won't include this on my pickups video because it's too much to uh, go through and I've already kind of talked about the games a little bit. You know how much it costs and whatever. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and hopefully I'll do another car boot sale, flea market. Car boot sale slash flea market, whatever you're gonna call it, video soon so yeah see you later guys